my life has been a series of ambitious beginnings and unfulfilled promises. From the fervent night spent studying in a dimly lit library to the、uh, exhilarating rush of starting my own business, in fact, multiple business, each chapter began with hope, but often ended in quiet retreat. That's the story I want to share with you guys. So, if you're new here, my name is William Jamin. This channel is mainly about digital art, and this is a kind of a digital memoir project that I started about my life, about what I learned, and about my regrets, and、um, yeah, my meaningful moment in life. And I, I want to share with you guys all. So. Yeah, born and raised in a very typical Asian family. I,、uh, I, I know nothing about real world. I know nothing about society except taking exam. Okay, exam and qualification and certificate has been a huge part of my life. And I took a lot of examination. In fact. Uh, CFA, FRM, CIA, CCSA, um, ACE,、uh, CPT, even like training, um, a personal trainer, all that, and um, and I've I've started business in a lot of field. Um, albeit I have some of success, but in hindsight, I think most of The thing I'm doing is not perfect. It's kind of like a failure when I like think about it right now. Even though I eventually get all the certificates, I failed like multiple times. And the moment when I realized that even though I got the certificate,、mm -hmm. I lose. I lost so many things in between. I still consider that kind of failure, so that's the thing I want to share with you guys. I、uh, spent just too much time in preparing for examination and preparing for some qualifications, preparing to work, and preparing to like start a company, start a business, and preparing some projects. But the thing is. You are never fully prepared. So, in fact, the feeling of that you are unprepared. In fact, you you can already do that. Okay, I can already do that. I just feel I'm not ready for this. And I just over prepare everything. Okay, so for example, I prepare for exam. Um, say, six hundred hours of study time. Of or three hundred hours of study time, so you study hard, you can, you can, yeah, absolutely pass this exam. I was started like a double the time, and I still feel very insecure about passing it. I, I still feel that、um, I'm 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 not prepared. So I would like, like, you know, do a lot of、uh, exercise, and read a hundred thousand times. Of the article that need to pass exam, and trying to, you know, prepare for it. And、uh, when I start companies, I start start like two companies, um, um, mainly focus on education as well as、uh, technology. Um. As I'm trying to publish or ship a product. I feel I'm not sure for this. Refining, refactoring, we work on design. Take board survey. And you know sometimes got rejected by the review. I know how I was spent like hundreds of hours, spent. Rewrite that project. Still, after all that, still I I don't think I'm ready. So. 
That's the moment I began to realize that in life you are never ready. You have to ship in now, or take that exam now, or take this opportunity now, and modify it like a tinker in it, like constantly、uh, make revision of it along the way. And that's the hard lesson that learn about like after. Ten or twenty years of study, as well as work, I began to realize that this kind of insecurity is is from your heart. Okay, so you think you are not ready, but in fact, the world doesn't work that way. The work, the world works by a. Like a mechanism that is not perfect, that requires constantly revision and tinkering. You can't possibly like devise a perfect mechanism and let it work. That's not simply not how the society works. The, the society works on a, a like the verge of crumbling, on verge of breaking down. But still works, because you know, human, like you and me, like constantly <laughs> tinkering it, revision it, and trying to hold it together every day. So, the society is not perfect. You and me are not perfect. That's the thing that I learned. And don't wait for a moment that you are say fully prepared. You are never prepared. Don't wait for a moment. If you think it's mature, it's ready. Just do it. And while you're doing it, you get more information coming in. That's a like a Mr. Market talk to you, Mr. Customer talk to you, and you can get more first-hand information. And then instead of just you know doing surveys and you know have meetings, you get direct feedback from the market, and then you can revise your products. That's the thing I learned. I hope that's、um, that's helpful, and I also have a another sort of failure in personality. That after nearly twenty two decades of、uh, of reflection and constantly regret, that I began to realize this. I. Feel very insecure about preparation, and once I fail, I began to blame others. I began I began to find try to find excuses, and that excuses, more often than not, will be others' fault. That's the thing. That's really hard for me to admit, but I have to. Like share with you guys because hopefully it's helpful and um I sort of want this this memoir to be a a thing that I want to teach my kids or grandchildren because I want to com- be completely honest with you guys and take a hard look about my life my past experience. And 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 I I sort of、uh, treat this as a meditation of what I have done, because I have to, like a third person, look at myself in order to improve, and hopefully help others. And the thing that I regret most is that every time I fail because of the insecurity, because of the.、Um, Sense of I'm unprepared. Most of the time, I'm already prepared for this. It's just I'm so anxious about this, and feel that I'm kind of fake. I'm kind of a, you know, faking all this ability, and and I just can't perform at the level that I already prepared. 
and then I fail, and then I begin to blame others to uh, say, hey, I just spend too much time with my family, with my, uh, you know, my loved ones, or you know why there's a condition that you're having this, having that, so I have to give up a lot of things in order to do things, and I just start blame others for my own failure, and this that kind of a mentality that caused me regrets the time that I have with my family, regrets of all this joyful moment I could have but didn't spend with my family, um, uh, my friends, and yeah, that's, that, that's the thing that I feel most regret about. And I want you guys to, to know that if you want to find excuses, you will always find it, okay? And most of the time is blaming the people that you love, the, the people that most intimate to you, okay? Because they always spend time with you. They basically like spend their life with you because time means life, okay? And they're spending time with you. They're willing to spend time with you. They'll sort of like die for you. So that's kind of unfair. You find excuses and you blame the person who loved you the most. And I think that's not the thing that we should, um, that's not the mistake that I should ever make again. So, yeah. And, yeah, I, I know you may have the same feeling like, I'm not ready for this. I'm not professional enough for this. My product is not mature enough for this. But doesn't that, that doesn't matter. Most of the time is because of you feel that you are not ready. But nothing is ready. You are never ready. Just do it. And take the feedback. Take the feedback whether from market, from your customer, from I don't know, maybe you're taking exam, you're a student taking exam. You know, that kind of feedback will directly guide you to move forward. You can't be too scared to move forward and constantly doubt myself and find excuses and hurt your loved ones. That's my suggestion as well as my personal experience. And what I've learned um, from um, at least 20 years of experience in work, in study, in life. No more excuses. And uh, yeah, thanks. Bye.